spinning the sword. You guys thought this was going to be a silent picture, didn't you? Nope. This is for the 1-1000 scale uh, Enterprise Toss from the original series. Got this idea from a guy called Model Slouch. Or that's what he calls himself on the WordPress blog that he's got over there. I sent him an email or a, a message uh, asking his permission to use his stuff, make videos and show about it. And he gave me his permission. He was very gracious about it. Nice guy. He's English. Anyway, there's a picture of his little rig there, configured sitting inside the nacelle. That is a small board. It's about a half inch wide. And uh, I don't know, I guess maybe two and a half, two and three quarter inches long. Here's my little solution, basically it's identical to his. He shows pictures of his board on here too. If I can find them. There's some more pics. This is a very delicate operation right here. Yeah, there's his board. And below that other little board is for the navigation lights. That runs off of a 555 timer and a couple of resistors and a capacitor. And uh, the upper board for the spinning bassard, that's a 555 timer with a 4017 decade counter. Those little round boards for the LEDs, those things are about a half an inch in diameter. Well, actually about 12 millimeters in diameter. Very small. Those LEDs are 0805s. Here's one of my little boards that I, that I made up to solder the LEDs on and got one of them finished there. I think I got that spinning at about the right speed. I uh, used a potentiometer to get the speed where I want it and then I'm going to test it, test the resistance on it, see what, uh, then I put a resistor in, see if it's spinning at the speed I want. Uh, anyway, you see the board here, this is the bottom side, here's the top side with the two components on there. I haven't, I've got them soldered in. Uh, I still got to add the resistors and the capacitor. But, uh, this isn't too hard to solder here, but those LEDs, man, that, that is a very delicate procedure. It's easy to screw up. I've already screwed up a couple of them before I finally got one right. The problem I found was soldering the LED out here to the, the positive, the, the anode side of the LED to the to the pad out here isn't too difficult, but uh, the ground here, I uh, couldn't seem to get it to get a connection there. And I ended up with too much solder on there and it was just a mess. Uh, but what I discovered and what I should have done, I mean, it's common sense, I should have done it from the beginning is uh, before I even put my LEDs on there, I should turn them over and, uh, and tin them, you know, put a little solder on each uh, connection on there. When you do that, uh, it's a, it works a whole lot better. And uh, just and then tin put just a little solder on the board, 
on the ground side and the, the pad out here and then using some tweezers just set that LED on there and you know just melt it in on each side and it'll work but you gotta have some steady hands and some good magnifying glass or something to here's what I'm using right here this thing I got off of Amazon it works pretty good and uh, it, it's even got a it's got a light in it but I don't have any batteries in it right now I've got plenty of light from my desk lamp anyway I don't really need it but uh, yeah, it's even got a little thing to hold your solder iron well, here it is guys this sucker actually works I've got the little board mounted inside the nacelle and uh, 9 volts power connected to it. It's just kind of precariously clamped on there right now. Nothing's glued. But, man, i got to tell you, I was puckered when I first put power to this thing with it connected to the actual circuit board. I, I was very pleased to see that it actually works and I still got another one to build but uh, if I did it once I can do it again so that's what it looks like I've still got to paint that lens inside there the inner lens I'm gonna just kind of dust it with some red paint some transparent red <clears throat> and uh, I may use a metallic red, I don't know. I think that front part of the outer the outer cover that goes on there is supposed to stay clear and uh, then the back part of it gets painted a light gray. That's going to be tricky to do. And, uh, in a way that uh, it, light doesn't bleed through it. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you guys this, show you that it actually works. So, uh, post your questions and comments, and uh, I'll answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching. Later.